Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. Our last fort kind of died pretty roughly. Um, if you saw that, uh, we didn't get very far. A few years, well, not more than like one year. Uh, Glowing Crafts was the name of that one. However, I am back for another round in another world that I have pre-generated because uh, it took too long to generate on camera. Uh, it's Gomethkar. Uh, this is a world that I picked up from the forums and we have a pretty nifty little embark here. I'm gonna see if I can find it for you. It should be... Let's see. Is it that one? No. Is that one? No. It's on a volcano, so let me see. It shouldn't be too far away here. There it is. Look at this. We have, on a pretty flat map, we have a mountain here. Uh, we have clay, soil, metals, deep metals. We also have shallow metals and deep metals. I know for certain that there is a very large amount of both uh, hematite and limonite. Um, well, very large, about a thousand or something, but it should be all right for our needs. Uh, we can always smelt stuff back down if we need to, or just go with goblinite if we get that far. Uh, there is also plenty of copper, a lot of gold, uh, galena and uh, nickel ore, so we can make uh, magma safe stuff through the nickel. There's also a little bit of coal and lignite, so this shouldn't be a bad place to start. Now, I wonder, should I go there or there? This is actually embark made for 2x2, two two. I think it's uh, like that, which makes it very small. But I'm going to go by 4x4. Four four. More materials, and uh, actually we'll go with this one. Yep. Um, let's do that. We already prepared this one. Um, uh, let's do that. Okay. They're missing buckets, splints, crutches, and wheelbarrows. So we can add that. Bucket, splint, crutches, and wheelbarrows. And we can pick up some of these and also some random other things, uh, some fish. Might as well take a little with this. Like so, and the rest fish. Not that we need five buckets, but you know. Better safe than sorry, have a little bit extra. Um, yeah, this looks about right. We have two picks, a battle axe, an iron anvil, yak, hunting dog, cats, cows. Shouldn't be a problem. We have two miners, a woodcutter, carpenter, mason, and a grower, brewer, cook, and hammer man times two. All right, this is a bit of a more offensive embark. Um, I don't know why I picked hammer when we have axe. Hmm. Actually, can I get rid of one wheelbarrow or maybe a couple of these? And add... Hmm... It would be kind of awesome, but we can get some copper warhammers for now, I suppose. They're cheap. And uh, they're good enough for our starter dwarves. We'll make them unhappy by taking them away from them later. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. We're going to get a few more ropes. And we'll get more beer. Makes for happy dwarves. All right, let's uh, name our fort, uh, or rather our group here. Um, the last one was uh, Glowing Crafts.
axe tuft, nose, nose spears, ouch. Uh, spine tomes, no. Barbsmith. Girder toes. Bridged pink. Oh, showered axe, still tombs. Sounds a bit ominous. Let's go with that. Still tombs. And uh, the strapping cloister. No, the city of nourishment. The mirrors of chance. The key of uncertainty. Oh yeah. Are we going with still tombs? Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna still tombs. So I can start my report here. All right, let's. Um, Consider us done with that, and uh, we can save this one and embark. Okay, let's take a look around here. There are some trees, not a lot, I must say. There's also a mountain here. Seems to be made out of sand. Very nice. And there's also some obsidian in the walls there and aluminum that's native copper and even more of that good and we are standing on a creek that's good I suppose let's uh, find a decent place to call home shall we going to let them clear off these trees um, let's uh, do all these little things um, only farmers harvest. Yeah, that's really the only thing I need to do here. Let's uh, go into Dwarf Therapist and see that we have some uh, decent choices on our units here. We have these two. His is, he's actually supposed to be a very good manager. And he is the expedition leader, but he's not a good such. Oh well. Good Hammer Dwarf. It's actually not a good hammer dwarf at all. Oh well. It'll do, it'll do. We have th these two and that one and he's an architect and uh, we'll have to live by the reinforc reinforcements we get. So let's start by setting up our animals. Actually, um, I'm just going to enable for our woodcutter I'm enabling animal training and then go into animals here and set the dogs to oh they're trained already that's good um okay fair enough you can just keep that then but I'm going to make a squad of metal armor, the tin brands, sure. Um, competent hammer dwarf and uh, hammer dwarf. Edit the schedule down. There we go. So I can raise the military if I should need to. Um, I want to build something here but Let's just start with the normal normal style fort here. So we will need like that. And something like this. This will be the starting fort. Uh, we can build a wall around it and then expand that later. Um, I fully intend to make it a tower. Like this big. And um, start digging down. As long as I make sure we have some sort of defensive rooms or places where they can hide in case of trouble um, just for now so they don't overdo it we are going to limit the areas that they can dig okay 
Where is that one that's uh, restraint? It's on V. I'm going to set up one chain on each corner here. Oh. So we can set up our dogs. Hunting dog there, and a hunting dog there, and war dog, and a war dog. Yeah, so there will be kind of an entrance down here so they can just gather up and, uh, yeah. Then we'll make a wood stockpile in this area. Um, about that big. And some space for our animals to be grazing. Where we can put the yak, the bull and the cow, and these. They probably will attack each other. We'll have to take a look at that. If they attack each other, we'll have to just stop them and get them away from each other. What's that little creature? It's a possum. Awesome. Yeah, so now we play the waiting game. I'm just twiddling my thumbs here. Let's see, the civilization. Well, we have a general and a queen which means that we'll eventually get a queen if we survive that long. Um, we had one person who was a good possible manager. That was... he was. Not that I really need a manager yet. But... that would work. Let's uh, set up this as the farming room. I will make one of these farm plots. Um, and one there, and one there. Actually cancel that one and make it as big. There we go. Then we will want to put in a custom stockpile here for seeds. Only seeds. And I want that one to go here. Perfect. And then we will want to make a uh, stockpile for furniture, which will take only barrels and pots. That will go there. And we place our still. Using chestnut, that'll do. I'm thinking about making this the the room down, so we're gonna have to make this a defensive room. Is that the middle? Yes, it's the middle. Um, the reason I built these is um, so that we can put indoors and uh, later just dig away that and build bridges that will hold this and maybe even make a little bit of a moat area here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that will be the way down. And uh, we will have that kind of stairs there. What is everyone doing? They're outside here. I put these dogs here so that they could uh, stay... Oh, what is he doing? Mason, he's not doing anything. Um, Hmm. 
yeah, I put the put the dogs there so that in case we have any kind of invaders. Sweet pods, plump helmets, quarry bushes. Yeah, that should do. And that one can do plump helmets all year. Yep. And we can start digging out this and this now. These will be simple storage rooms. We'll also make this room here the main hall, kind of, until we get that dug out. Should have... I can build a wall later. Actually going to let them dig the whole area out. Uh, we can dig down there. Let's see. Yeah, so they're digging that out, and we have some planting going on, that's very good. That means I can make that area and that area be storage rooms for plants and food. Although, they should probably finish one digging project at a time. Okay, so this episode I intend on getting everything settled up to a simple start here. Um, possibly make a carpenter here just temporarily so he can work out in the cold weather. Though trees are more interesting for him right now. Which I suppose is alright. Seems to be one more soil level, that's good. I'm not gonna go wider than this because I wanna dig out a moat around this whole area. So we can build a fortress up top. And then we're going for this. This is gonna be interesting though. I wanna dig channel out there so that we can get that into a... Huh, that'll be interesting. could actually have a forge already up here. Small forge for like glass work, stuff like that. Um, you guys dig that area and that area out. Um, furniture. Oh, not corpses. Furniture. We can actually go finished goods as well, but furniture will do. Hmm. Yeah, I think if I plan this out correctly and make that area out of lava and dig down here I highly doubt that we'll get anything attacking us through the lava, but can never be sure with that. We make channels. Let's see, a magma smelter. Hmm. Okay, we don't have fire safe material yet. What is growing there? Quarry bushes, sweet pods, and plump helmets. We need all of these, but they will require processing, so that's... Yeah. Probably don't need to make it that big. Lava will flow into that. If I make it so. 
which will give me a little bit more storage area in that one. Yeah, so I'm going to go by a design that is something like this. I don't want to do a central shaft because people will fall from this and down all the way to the bottom, but don't want to go too quickly down either. I want to go to spread wide, I mean. Well, we'll see, we'll see. But that could work. Let's make that a channeled out area. How many can we fit? So if I put one there, 23, 23. Yeah, should be one there, which means that we dig out a hole there, one there, and one there. Perfect. We really need to get a storage area for food here. Just to get all the food out of this area. And I'm actually gonna set this one to be finished goods as well, so we get that out of the way. Gonna just make sure that we dig down to some stone soon. Oh, they're digging so erratically. Okay, what did we find? This is just salt, rock salt. Okay, that'll do. Having forges this high up means that if we can just get our hands on a bit of sand, which shouldn't be too much a problem, I think. No sand there, but we'll see. Um, once we do get our hands on some of that, we will be able to produce glass items. And uh, that's a good thing to have. No fighting. No nothing. Perfect. Now we're talking. Food. And food. But this will be for plants only. And this will be for everything but plants. And drink and seeds. Everything else. Because this whole area down here will be, will be dedicated to drink. This will be the main storage and uh, that's where everything food will go. Perfect. Now we're talking. Um, yeah, we should dig down a couple of levels. Like so. And then just to make sure, we'll make this the meeting hall. No, not the hospital. The meeting hall. Actually, can you like, collect anything from there? No. Uh, we'll make a refuse pile just outside to get rid of that from inside.
with the meeting hall everything will make its way down there we're just finding precious stones which is not ooh lignite very nice indeed Let's see, magma smelter, well we don't have any non-economic stone. Oh, magma safe. I didn't realize that. We don't have that yet. Can place down the mason store there, and a croft dwarf there, mechanic. And a uh, jeweler. Don't have all these professions yet, but we do have the mason. It seems rock salt and microcline is dominant here. I need you to stop cutting trees for a while now. Simply because, well, we need to build up <laughs> our industry a bit. And we need beds. Eight beds will do. I'll put them down in the meeting hall among the clucking chickens. I will cut that off. We'll also set this one to hold cloth and leather. And uh, weapons as well and armor just so we don't get any thieves. They will be detected by our dogs. Hopefully. Our manager needs an office but not a priority. Yeah, so just a moment, guys. Just wanted to check to see what my current timer was at, and I'm pretty much up to the end of this episode. Um, in the next episode, wow, you're starving. Well, you have food to eat. Uh, in the next episode, we'll keep digging out our starter fort, and I will designate the corners at least for the moat to be there I'll do that in this episode to be there there and there which means that we can dig that out the next episode anyhow guys I'll see you in the next one take care bye bye